Alright, so it didn't work out the way I thought doing the 4th of July episode, so <clears throat> I decided to do a 4th of July Independence uh, game. Uh, it's an older game. Um, you'll find out more about it as it goes along, or you can just read the description. <laughs> um, so I decided since the party basically was a no-go, um, I was going to go ahead and pull this one out and dust it off and put it back into the system. So I'm going to go ahead and let this one play and uh, I'll say it again in the, co in the game later. But go ahead and leave in the comments if you want me to keep showing you clips and little snippets of this or something. Alright, and let's begin the show. Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are, this of course is Corvus Lasty. And I thought I'd try a really, really old game, because I've heard about it, I've never really thought about playing it, but I've been watching the Galactic, uh, the Battlestar Galactica series lately, just that of nostalgia reasons, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try the game. I'm going to check it out, see what it's like. So, obviously, graphics are old, because obviously it's old. And let's see what kind of hair we got here. So, yeah. There you go, Keys, if you're watching. There's your hairdo. <laughs> Ooh, I like the long hair so far. I seem to like to put long hair on my characters. I don't know why. Uh, not that. That'll work. Let's see what it looks like. If we make the hair color... Can we make the hair color black? Yes, there we go. What's the next color? Brown. So, these are mostly all different shades, except for that one of blonde. Alright, let's get our face going here. Can we zoom in? Zoom in? No, no zoom in here. Look forward. Thank you. And I'm going to stick with that one. Skin. Whoa. Whoa. That's good. Suit. Uh, let's see, there's that one. I'm going to go with that one. Helmets. I'm going to go with that one because it matches. <laughs> Glasses. How can you even tell what glasses are on them? Beard? No. Alright, so let's give ourselves a name. What a shocker, huh, people? <laughs> Hang on, that should be a little A. Wait, I can't. Oh. Well, I put the capital W in. That should work just fine. <coughs> So am I supposed to say frack a lot? <laughs> that is. Thank you, sir. Reporting for duty. I've read Starbucks report on your performance during the battle since you performed above and beyond the call of duty. Yes, I did. Thank you. And we're going to skip that. I already read it. It just is like, yeah, we're going to send you on a mission. And like, oh, okay. And it's blah, blah, blah. You know, normal stuff. Uh, go away. So we need to go to audio and turn this down a lot. I don't even know if you guys can hear me through that whole thing or not. Apply that. See, to me, that's too low. Let's try that. Uh, video. Ultra customs. Apply. See what this does. See if that makes it look any better. HUD. Mm. I'm looking for. Oh, there's a controller. Huh. I might have to plug in my controller and try that sometime. That looks tempting. 
Um, invert flight controls. Uh, I don't see an option. Or it's gonna be a little weird because I have to get used to how touchy it is. I just can't find. Yes, I want to save this. See, I can't find anything about um, the mouse sensitivity. I may have already went past it. Put it in the comments if you saw it. And I'm just a blind dummy. If I'm a blind dum dum, just let me know. Camera controls? Nope. Uh, social. User interface. No. HUD. No. Miscellaneous. No. Okay, so I guess there actually is no way of mouse sensitivity. Okay. So, approach the planet. Now, the mouse wheel does this. It does the throttle up and down. Spacebar is your thruster. One, two, and three are over here. One and three. You turn on, and when you get near an enemy, you can hit the left mouse button like that, and it targets it. And if you get close enough, you will actually shoot it. Uh, I'm doing, let me turn these off. And then two are your missiles. Basically, when you get close enough, you hit it. Um, what is this? Analysis array. Okay, so we're at an, making an analysis on this. Uh, stationary mining ship connects all. Connect all successful. Continue operation. Okay. Click on the planetoid to select it. Mining ship gather resources such as water. Tylium and titanium that can be used to purchase upgrades and repair your ship. Asteroids may also contain resources, but you'll have to acquire them yourself by targeting them with your weapons. Okay. I'm getting a distress signal from a mining ship you just dispatched. Uh, of course you are. God forbid they actually do something without being attacked, huh? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get through this godforsaken tutorial and I'll be back with you guys as soon as I get it done wait is that thing really shooting at me huh. apparently the asteroids will shoot at you alright well I'll get back to you as soon as I get somewhere out of the tutorial. Okay, so now it seems we're on the bridge. Hmm. Let's see, ship customization. Uh, ooh, I like that emblem. Where does it go? Oh, right there in the wing. And we're gonna call this the Kaga Tassila. Some of you know what that means, some of you don't. Do we have any paints? No. Um, it does have microtransactions, obviously. Um, yeah, see? Uh, you buy these little chip thingies. Um, not sure how to buy them exactly. Oh, right here. They're called cubits. Sorry about that. It apparently wants to be a jerk and minimize everything. But basically, you would click on that, it would take you to here, the launcher. And the launcher would show up and show you the cubits. It's like 5,000 cubits is $1.99. Um, I don't have any cubits, so I can't do anything about that. But like, uh, this is 1.6 cubits. I don't know if that means a cubit 
one point six is in one thousand six hundred or what, but yeah. Um let's see, they got starter kits. They got a dogfighter kit, a fast interceptor or a starter kit. Yeah, see this is okay, so that's twenty five hundred cubits. So that means that these rounds are one point six of your five thousand cubits for a dollar ninety nine. Uh, so that would basically cost you like three, four bucks. Uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, and it looks like I have two thousand six hundred and twenty cubits for some reason. Not sure if I did something for that or what. We got titanium, tilium, water, merits, and cubits. So technically, I have 2,000 and whatever. So let's see. Uh, longest night paint job, gold paint job. This doesn't even have a price on it, so I'm going to requisition that. And it has an, a durability stat. That's interesting. Okay, so let's close this. There. There it is right there. Ooh. It's kind of, I mean, red, black, and white are more my colors. Mainly red and black. Uh, let's just leave it for that for now and go to uh, item shop. Do they have a red and black one? I wish you could see what it looks like. Details, maybe? Ah. That's more the Corvus Wyosity you all know and love. But, nah. I don't have the cubits for it. I only got 2,620 cubits. Whoa. That one's 20,000 cubits. Why? Okay. There details on why it's so expensive? No. The Paint Viper Mark II Night Strike. What does that look like? Oh. So that's going to cost you about a dollar ninety nine right there. Ooh, if I had a dollar ninety nine. Oh, that's not twenty. Thousand of those. That's twenty thousand of the uh, Tylium. So this will cost you a little more than a dollar ninety nine. It costs you like eh, four bucks for this paint job. <laughs> well, I guess if you like that color, <laughs> I don't. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to dig in into the game a little bit, and I will be back as soon as I do some studying. Alright, so I found something interesting. They don't tell you this, but uh, you go over to it like this, and it says within 750 meters of this container to click on it. Yeah, they forgot to tell you that there's a loot button up here you can click, and it loots it. <laughs> yeah, that kind of slipped their mind. And as you can see, I'm getting cubits. So it looks like you can get cubits without actually having to pay a dime. So that's pretty cool. So I got 5 out of 2 and 6 out of 1. That's 16. So that's not bad. Alright, fly to the near by nav marker. Yeah, I'm in a different ship now, by the way. It's the other one that you usually see on the TV show. And if you click in the middle, the mouse wheel, 
turns into one of these. Alright, let's slow down. Speed up. Click them. Take it out. Aha, orange arrow, gotta go to it. Hit the boosters, so we get there in a quicker amount of speed. Not sure what these are. Follow friendly target, match target speed, activate boosters. And this is your system map, by the way. Bam, system map. That's actually really good for a little free game. I think that's extremely cool. I think that's me right there in that raptor. Alright, let's see what's going on, shall we? Whoa! Oh, heck no, jerk. Hey, there's a novice raptor out here with me. Going down. It's actually, believe it or not, for some cheap little free to play game, this is actually kind of fun. I'm not sure what it's going to be like when I get to the PvP aspect of it, but. At this moment, it's kind of fun, actually. I just hope my shields... This is your shields and your health and all that up here. I'm trying to take... Uh, 74 cubits, nice. So you can get cubits from the asteroids, too. I did not notice that. I bet you they're typing in the comments right now. We knew that. We saw it in the first time you got an asteroid. Well, I didn't know that. Alright, so I'm going to do the rest of the tutorial and be back. Uh, you can wait on the ship. Just uh, don't touch my stuff. Okay, I think I'm done with the tutorial. I'm not really sure. It doesn't have a preset tutorial like most. If I undock which was at the top of the screen. Let's see what happens. Temporary home of the colonial fleet. Freaking controls measures to return to Galactus. Click on it and then the dock button on the top of the screen. To start exploring the rest of the sector, you'll need to jump to a different star system. To so perform that, open the sector navigation window by clicking on the globe icon beside the Dreadus at the bottom of the screen. So I click on that. It looks like their Cylons are here and here. I'm here. This one's blinking. And it looks like you can jump to players that I guess have battle starships. I think that's what that means. While you are new to our fleet, we can send you to battle space, a remote sector with a single resource rich planetoid. I guarantee there will be a contingent of hostiles, but it is a good opportunity to. Eh, didn't get to read all that. <laughs> and why wouldn't I get to read it? Oh! To move to another star system, you. The red circles in the sector navigation map show maximum range of your FTL drive. To jump to another star system within range, click on it and then the jump button. Once your FTL drive spins up to full power, you'll travel instantly to your destination. Note that FTL drive takes longer to spin up when you're in combat. Okay. Oh, we got something going on over here. 
I got a red thing. Let's see what's going on. I guess I should start talking like they talked in the Battle Star Galactica show. <laughs> Arm and guns. Oh, guns are already armed. Uh, you can't see it, but if I bring that up, now you can't see my mouse. When I hold down the right mouse button, it does that. And see, that's how I'm controlling it. Was that that circle right there? Ah, oh, they already took them out. Whoa, those are big old missiles. What is this? Armistice targeting module. Okay. Guess that, like, upgrades the targeting system or something. Whoa, what are these? What are those, random missiles just fired out of nowhere. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to try and find a space battle and see what it looks like, guys. Alright, so it seems I came across a rescue mission. It says, Fighters in Distress, and up here at the top, you see it says, the top right, right here, it says, Priority 1 Alert, Active Distress Beacon in the area, we are unable to confirm Colonial or Cylon designation. Scout the area, destroy any opposition forces, and render assistance if required. So we're flying out there to render assistance to either help if it's one of us, or blow them up if it's not one of us. And it's one of us. I don't believe that's a Cylon design. Yep, because there's vipers flying around. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys real quick. Oh, he's got some health on him. Ah, I passed them. Oof, I really wish I could work with these. Controls. I learned from me against the computer. Just uh, use the spacebar and keep your engines low. It's easier to get around. <laughs> and they have flares, it seems. Yeah, well, your flare didn't help you against my guns. Alright, let's go get this Cylon that's being a jerk over here. See if he launches his flares. Nope, got him. All right. Uh, defend the freighter against incoming forces until the drive is repaired. It's at forty-seven percent, so we got to keep defending him until he's ready to go. So it's a defense mission. Okay, that's cool. Check in. I don't see anything on the radar except little blue triangles. What's he doing out there? Nothing. What's he doing out there? Oh, he's shooting at something. Oh, here comes two fighters. Ah, uh, let's get this guy. He's shooting at the ship. Whoa, missile alert. Unfortunately, he had to take the brunt of that one. Now, it's interesting how you can kind of fly through your ship. Ah, uh, getting all discombobulated. Oh, shoot. They got me. Uh, I guess that one? I have no idea. <laughs> Alright. So, first impressions, it seems kind of slow. Uh, let's 
So I'm going to go ahead and repair everything. I'm going to try it out a little bit longer, see what we can do here. Kind of get an idea of it real quick. All right, so I'll be back. All right, everybody, I found a human enemy. Well, it's a Cylon enemy, but it's a Cylon that's controlled by another player. We're going to try and catch up to him, shoot him in the butt. He looks like he's trying to heal. He's got a lot of health. <laughs> Whoosh. Like, a lot of health. He's got 3184 and I got 540. So, yeah, this is going to hurt. Whoa! Ah! Uh, yeah, this is a bad idea. I'm out of here. I'm getting out of here as quick as I can. Where's the FTL? Go there. Jump! Hurry, jump, jump, jump. Missile alert, missile alert. How do I do the anti missile alert? I don't know how to missile alert. I don't know how to get away from missiles. I guess I just run! <laughs> Come on. See, since I was in combat, it's not 15 seconds to jump. It's 60 seconds to jump. So I basically just gotta run like there's no tomorrow. And hope you don't catch me. Here we go. We're about to jump. In the words of Battlestar Galactica, Frack you! <laughs> I'm out of here! <laughs> oh, that was horrifying. The only problem is the only place to FTL towards where I was headed is in the Cylon Spectre sector space. So we need to get out of here now. So I'm just going to start now. Ugh, that was horrifying. I also don't have the ship to be playing around here anyway. <laughs> I'm in a bad place. It's out of my reach. I'm gonna have to bounce. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna try it. Trying to keep an eye out for Cylons. Whoa! Okay, well, we wanted to find one. We found one. <laughs> We found a space battle big time. Alright boys, let's get in here. I don't know who they're shooting at, but we're going in. We're going to go after that one. He's got about as much health as we do. <laughs> he looks almost our equal. A few extra levels than us, but still, we're going after him. And he's damaged too, so that's a good thing. He's too close to the fleet. Turn around. Go back. We don't want to go towards the Cylon fleet. Whoa. All these ships are other players in the server. I don't think any of them are in the same actual, like, leadership or anything. Alright, so let's get in there and what we could possibly do is try and stop some of these missiles from hitting our guys here.
That'll help a little bit. Oh, I almost missed one. I did miss one. Holy guacamole, these things are fast. And coming out of nowhere. My goodness, look at all these things. Oof. He's going to be tough to take down. Alright, let's try and get some of these missiles if we can. I forgot how to target missiles. Ah, come on! Target the missile! Promoted to Junior Ensign! Oh shoot! I'm getting- Oh, they got me! I don't know who got me or how they got me, but they got me. <laughs> Darn it. Maybe I should just stick to like the easy levels. Repair all. Repair. Close. Thank you. How do I get out of here? Uh, ooh. That's what I want, the Mark III Viper. Mm. I don't have the cubits for it. that one. Ooh, that one looks nice. The Mark 7. It's probably the best one out here too, yeah. Oh, nope. That looks like the best fighter out here right there. The Raven Mark V uh, 6R. It's got a launcher, two guns, doesn't say, oh, here we go. Uh, hole points 350. Oh, 35,000, okay. Or 3,500. Alright. And I guess, uh, if you customize. No, that just goes to the paint and stuff. Mm, ship repair? Uh,. Is there a way to buy more stuff? Huh. Figured there's a place to actually buy. sure how to get back to the bridge. Let me undock and then redock and see if that puts me back on the bridge. I mean with my super old computer this loads pretty good so that's nice. That's not what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Dock. That should bring me... no. Thought it would bring me to the bridge, but it doesn't. Escape? No. Uh, how do I get back to the bridge? Nothing. It's got to be a way back to the bridge. Uh. 
This is. <laughs> uh, up there, 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 there. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out what I'm supposed to be doing to get back to the bridge. Alrighty, so there is mining in this game um, for stuff. See, so that's cool. Uh, they have a thing here on number two on this ship. It's a mining cannon. Uh, gopher light mining cannon. Basically you would select one and when you get within 2,000 meters of it, then down here this will light up like that. It'll take that little go away thing. Okay, so it was red. That means there's nothing on that one. So we just look around for some rocks that uh, have useful items on them basically. Let's go check this one over here. Sort of a does it or doesn't it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it, it seems a little tedious, but I think once you, you know, get, I mean, it's like most games like this, you know, the first few levels are real tedious and annoying and stupid, but after a while, it, it It'll start to get interesting because you'll start to get into the bigger ships. You'll start getting into the battles. And that's when it might actually become a little more interesting. Um, like I was in, you saw me in a space battle. And the space battle was actually not as bad. I mean, yeah, you know, I'm in a little, a little noob ship and all that. So, of course, you know, the ship is gonna be kind of lame and weak but all right that's got that titanium stuff I need for like to buy new weapons and things and to, um, do all that stuff so I want to get in there and I want to get this stuff and I might have pulled in a little close <laughs> but that's okay because when it blows up it just blows up all right, so let's see. That debris thing just kind of disappears after a while. Let's go over to these rocks, see if there's anything in them. That one is 4,000, that one's 8,000, that one's 8,000, that one's 8,000. So we're gonna go for the 4,000 first, obviously. And that'll get us in closer to the other ones as we go. So you always want to push two and turn that off because you don't want to waste it if there's nothing in there. Just because it wouldn't make any sense to shoot something that has nothing in it. Okay, let's go ahead and scan this one. And that's got something in it, so we're going to hit two. And when we're in range, and you can put your mouse on the weapon here. It'll actually tell you the damage, the armor piercing, and the range, which is 0 to 600. So this would actually start firing when I got 600 meters from the target. You kind of want to put the target in there. You don't have to, but it helps. So we got that. It says destroy drones, but I don't see two drones to destroy so yeah all right so let me shut my engines off here so that's pretty much what this game's about it's not as bad as some people try to make it seem like it is um, like I said it seems tedious at the beginning 
but as you go it seems to be a little better yeah there's a little bit of a, a teeny tiny bit of a pay to win because you can buy the higher level ships um i'm not sure if uh i didn't check but nose camera mode um but there may be a level requirement when it comes to these ships. So, yeah. Um, so it's not too bad, actually. I'm probably going to play it a little bit more. If you want to see me goof off in it, um, feel free to let me know in the comments. Don't forget to just subscribe, hit that notification icon so you're notified anytime I put out any videos. Um, don't forget to like any videos and support the channel. Uh, be greatly appreciated. And of course, this is uh, Junior Ensign Level 3, Corvus Wyasi, but you know me as Corey's. Just signing off, saying later days.